What's up, y'all? Shane with a rare YouTube uh, video, but I figured I'd post, you know, since I just got word from uh, 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 my Instagram slash Facebook friend, Ballsy Kamehameha. Thanks a lot for the... Uh, the heads up on that one, but obviously it seems to me that the, uh, you know, the guy that was uh, upset about last year's uh, Royal Rumble, uh, um, Royal Rumble result, you know, with The Rock winning the WWE Championship, is upset once again with Batista winning the Royal Rumble for this year. To be quite honest with you, this time I kind of agree with you know what how he stand with how what he feels because honestly I know everybody wanted to see Daniel Bryan in the Royal Rumble this year obviously that didn't happen but hey Daniel Bryan and Bray Wyatt stole the entire show I gotta admit that that is one thing that I can't take away from that match and from that entire card was that Daniel Bryan and Bray Wyatt stole the entire show and that totally set the tone for the entire pay-per-view but of course, a lot of people are very mad over what happened at the very end when they, you know, when Batista was, you know, the winner of this year's Royal Rumble. But you know, he he was gone for four years, and now he's the, you know, the winner of the Royal Rumble, and now he's going to headline WrestleMania to face either whoever is going to be the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Um, but um, another thing it was is that you know it it, it kind of you know does tick me off the way that things were handled but the thing is again he got overboard he seriously got overboard and he didn't need to go there I mean he he ended up breaking shit and he ended up doing stuff that I can't believe that you know that people at his age would actually get get so mad over I mean yes I am a professional wrestling fan no doubt about it to the core I have followed professional wrestling ever since the I mean the WWE since the old WWE the, the old WWF days back when Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior were actually professional wrestling you know and they were you know doing what they you know what they did best and they definitely um, you know brought professional wrestling to the mainstream but now, with the product as it is these days, it's, you know, totally different from what it was. And, but getting back to my whole point, um, he didn't have to go the way that he had, to, you know, throwing around all his DVDs and throwing away all his, you know, throwing away his, his replica WWE Championship belt, you know, the Attitude Era belt. I mean, seriously, he didn't have to go that far. I mean, I can understand that he's a big super fan. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, he just has to understand it is professional wrestling. I mean, I'm 20. I'm gonna be 27 years old, and I wouldn't actually freaking take it to that level. So you know, hey, <laughs> that's just how I feel at this point. It, it wasn't necessary, straight up, no doubt about it. 